We had five agents on January 15th of this year. Today, we're over 800 agents. That's it. That's this year. And it's it's not that we're, we're, we're not magic by any means, uh, but but we know what it's like to be an agent and we know what it's like yeah. to go out there and grind. And, and Paul and I, right. Uh, you know, C-suite, we still get on the phone and talk to clients. <clears throat> I was mailing off an applica- application to an 81 year old client this, this morning. She could not figure out how to do an e-sign. And I'm mm. like, you know what? We'll solve it another way. But we deliver these tools to these clients, Cody, so that awesome. I want to make money while I sleep. What is up? Welcome back to the CA Power Player Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Askins. And today, man, I am excited for today's interview. Here's a couple reasons why. Okay. Um, this cat is in Seattle, Washington. I don't know if I've ever done an interview with someone in Seattle. That's cool. We can check it off the list, right? Also, um, started out in really focused on like worksite, right? And B2B. And re- and then they've transitioned heavily and, and totally into B2C for the most part. And they um, grew from like five agents to like 800, like, I don't even know, like maybe the last year or something crazy. Like it has popped off. It's been really cool to see all their success. Um, they've been, um, humbly, I'll say this, they've been allowing us to help them on the final expense lead side with Kaboom, which has been really cool. And we've loved working together and partnering and collaborating. Uh, very impressed. I think they're doing, um, from one solution agency, please welcome my buddy, Dave Hannant. Awesome. Hey, Cody. Good to be here, man. man. Great. Good to see you. Appreciate you sharing time with us today. Uh, You just got back from Mexico, which was 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 awesome. Um, And you you actually did what what, it's normally like the normal cardinal sin of like, you know, entrepreneurs traveling on vacation is like, we're going to work. We're going to check our emails. We're going to take some calls. You didn't for once. And I'm like, bro. Zippo. That's awesome. 23 years in the business. And, you know, our, our business is blessed. When you're pretty good at sales, you get to go on a lot of trips and a lot of cool adventures. Yeah. And and I've been blessed with many, many, many of these over the years. And uh, cool. this one, I, I was telling you, Cody, I've sliding the laptop into the backpack to take it with me. You know, I'm like, I'll just do a couple conference calls, check the email. And I don't know, I made a decision. I'm like, no, not this time. Wow. So uh, I did read three novels. Um, I did zero work. Uh, I learned to e-foil a little bit. This is not a Seattle tan. This is a Mexico tan. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I, you got a way better tan than me right now. I know that. <laughs> uh, it, it must be the lighting in the studio. I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. No, it was fantastic, man. It was it was really great. It was really great. Cool. The only part of it is is you have a you have a team that that knows what they're doing. They're competent. They're confident. It lets you take a breath. Uh, and yeah. step away. So, you know, and I'm blessed to work with some pretty amazing guys. So, yes, you yeah. are, dude. Yes, you are. Yes, 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 yes. Paul, Jesse, et cetera, et cetera. Like a really good group. Um, y- you also um, have like worked your butt off and got to a place where now you are helping a lot of people around the industry. How cool has it been? Um, like, this is kind of hopefully this will help inspire others that are out there, like, dude, grinding away, trying to find success. They feel like they're just working the freaking tell off and they're not making any money. You're not making enough. Mm-hmm. Or um, Talk through your journey because um, yeah. to get to where you are, it's not impossible. It takes a lot of work, but it kind of shows, hey, here's what is possible. Yeah. I mean, Cody, I think I am the American dream. Honestly, I, I, I get to say it. I, I was I was born in Canada, so I'm an immigrant. I'm an, I'm an immigrant born in Canada, raised in Utah, barely graduated high school. I mean, mm. like not a great student. Um, and so finding a career where it's a meritocracy, what you do matters more than what your degree says or, or that, that mattered to me. And, and <clears throat> this business is one that was super attractive because I, I learned really quickly. I didn't want to trade dollars for hours mm. really quickly. I, I didn't want to trade dollars for hours. So I started off, you know, I was an agent, I was in work side. I spent, uh, 20 uh, years with Aflac and it was just a math game, Cody. I mean, I've seen some of your some of your stuff, and, and you did it. I'm like, man, it's exactly what I did. I knew if I set eight appointments yeah. a week, five would actually show up, and if I sucked, I'd still close one out of five, and that would meet my income goal. And so, for me, it was a math game right out of the beginning. 
And it was it was fun because I, I I sat down. And I went, all right, I don't get to quit on Mondays until I had eight appointments on the books scheduled. Some days it was nine o'clock at night when I got the last one. Sometimes it was at noon and I got to play golf in the afternoon. But it's a math game. And, and I love that about the insurance business. And it's still the big attraction for me in the insurance business is that you're not trading dollars for hours. If somebody mm -hmm. who's ambitious and has drive, uh, there's so many cool tools and things that we can do. It, it was super attractive to me. Between that and I wanted to make sure I sold something that, that mattered to people. Like I, I never wanted to sell anything that I wouldn't sell to my mom. Yeah. That that was that that was kind of the but the benchmark for me, right? It started <laughs> off with Aflac, cancer insurance, accident insurance. I, I like to do a few sports, yeah. so it just clicked in my head. It made a lot of sense. And now, you know, really, our company focused on on direct to consumer, you know, final expense, and we're selling a heck of a lot of of med sup as well. And mm. you know, the fact that we get to show up. And deliver for clients when things are pretty rough, when things are terrible, when they when a death happens, yeah. or when somebody's moving into into that senior space, it's pretty cool, right? And uh, that that's really what we do. And coming from an agent's background, right? I was an agent, and then I was in field leadership, and then I ran operations for Aflac in a couple of states. You know, my last role with Aflac, I was director of sales for the direct to consumer market, and uh, you know, I got to travel around the country and spend a lot of time with some really amazing agencies with. You know, whether it was a Merrill Life agencies or SMS or the big boys integrity out there, mm. I got to see who kicks butt, right? Guys that you've had on your on your podcast. And I got to see their win and I went, man, what am I doing? Where it's at is ownership and, and growing something special. And having the approach, whether it's me or Paul or Jesse, we've all been agents. We've grinded, we've knocked doors, pulled doors, picked up the phone. And, uh, you know, the dream's alive. Uh, and, so we're, you know, we focus on giving tools to our team and to our members of our team that help them spend time doing the things that make them money. Yes. Nobody leaves the business because they're like, oh, insurance just sucks. So I'm out. People only leave the business when they're not profitable. That's it. No, nobody bails because insurance sucks. Uh, people only leave with, with profitability. Amen. That's it. Amen. So also, dude, your, your energy and passion rose when you started talking about this business. Um, <laughs> It shows like you have this fun energy about you, smiling, care about the industry a bunch. I love that. Hey, dude, that, that was the benchmark. I want to make sure it's something that I am passionate about. It can help people that, you know, I would sell to my mom, right? Which is cool. Um, you mentioned, there's a couple different questions I was thinking about when you were talking, but you mentioned tools. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the tools that agents should be aware of? Absolutely. So, <clears throat> you know, I started the business a long time, right? 2001. I quit my cushy bank job to go sell straight commission insurance. Uh, you know, a week after nine one one happens. That's that that awesome wow. timing, right? Fantastic timing. My father in law could have strangled me, right? Uh, like, what are you doing? Um, but you know, it was really it was old school, man. Like cracking the phone book and like, okay, who am I going to call? I'm, no joke. I just dated myself referencing a phone book. Yeah, I realized yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cody, these are the yellow things you used to deliver once a, once yeah. a year. But what, what, what's what's the thing that you had like the cards, all the cards? Don't the stop. Don't start with the Rolodex. I probably ah. have one here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> dude, I did. I was old school like that. Today, <laughs> you know, and it was a grind, right? And and it was, and it's still a grind, but it's a grind in a different way. And yeah. if agents aren't using the tools that are available, they're missing the boat. Mm. So. You know, spending the past couple of years before I joined One Solution Agency in January, um, I, you know, I was director of sales for Aflac's direct consumer division. And when you're working with a big brand, everybody comes calling on you. And so like everybody would come and they would show us these amazing tools and some technology tools that just blew my mind. Some of them are like amazing yet sort of creepy. You know, when the guy's pulling up the laptop and it still has MIT on the front of it, like he took it from school. Uh, those are the guys who are presenting to us. Uh. And they were showing us these tools and I'm getting excited from a sales perspective, right? I'm the sales leader of the organization. Yep. And of course it gets all the way to compliance and compliance does what compliance does. And they're like, mm, we're a conservative old school insurance company. That sounds cool, but no, uh, I always thought legal killed stuff. No compliance kills stuff. Mm. So part of joining our agency was starting to like, not only vet some of the tools out there, like we don't use agents as guinea pigs. That's not cool. We, we don't do it. We don't believe in it. I love that. Uh, whether that's with that. leads and finding, finding Kaboom leads was, was a big for us. And we, Thanks. we love Kaboom leads. Finding that was a, an important tool, but really we deliver to agents tools to make them spend their time doing what makes them the most money. 
Correct. Agents, unfortunately, and I know because I'm one of them, hmm. suck at follow up. They're they're just not they're not really good. Yes. They they um, tend to deal with like ADD is a thing in our industry <laughs> a little bit, um, big time. You know? And so we developed tools and, and through the companies and we A B tested everything so that an agent spends their time talking to clients. That's what we do. Smart. And so the tools that we use. We're using ringless voicemail, um, texting, email, all of those things with AI, AI driven so that mm. all of these things are talking to clients, trying to drive an appointment on the schedule for an agent. Uh, and we give it to our agents at no cost. That, 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 you know, you talked about our growth in the beginning. We had five agents on January 15th of this year. Today, we're over 800 agents. That's it. That's this year. And it's, it's not that we're, we're, we're not magic by any means, uh, but but we know what it's like to be an agent and we know what it's like yeah. to go out there and grind. And, and Paul and I, right. Uh, you know, C-suite, we still get on the phone and talk to clients. <clears throat> I was mailing off an applica application to an 81 year old client this, this morning. She could not figure out how to do an e-sign. And I'm mm. like, you know what, we'll solve it another way. But we deliver these tools to these clients, Cody, so that awesome. I want to make money while I sleep. That, that's, that's where it's at. If I can make money while I sleep. And so yes. we not only give all the, you know, texting, email, ringless voicemail tools to the agents, but we also turn on self-enroll. Whether that's on an ancillary product, on a life product, I want them to market all over the place. If they're not using social media, if they're not using AI, they're missing the boat today. And, and a lot of times it's folks, they just don't have the time to invest and figure out what's good and what's not. We've already done it for them. So when an agent joins us, we not only just say, oh, here's the tool. No, we build it out for them. The campaigns start running. Really, it becomes just incumbent on an agent to engage with Kaboom and get enough leads in the pipeline, right? You've got to have enough bites at the apple to, to close. And then we let our system run. And then mm. it's answering the phone and talking to people. And that's what that's what salespeople do great, right? The, the, the good salespeople, you don't have to do a ton of, hey, here's how you engage with people. You give them just a few little tweaks and give them the tools and get them in front of somebody, they're going to sell. And that's what's happening for us. It's yeah. working really well. 100%. I also love that. Like when you said um, we don't use agents as guinea pigs, I feel like that's norm in our industry. Like you just have to use your agents as guinea pigs all the time. Um, I like, I love, like as an example, when we first chatted, you're like, hey, we've heard good stuff, but we still want to test it out first before we roll it out. And I'm like, yep. That's someone that knows what they're doing and that cares about the success of their people. I, I, ever since the first meeting, I was like, dude, I like these guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I called, I ordered Kaboom leads myself and I started and I dialed for dollars and I sold uh, off Kaboom leads. Cool. So, uh, I mean, this is not a Kaboom commercial clearly, sure, but sure. it should be because the quality of lead matters. It, it matters so much. And the yeah. lead gen world is the wild west to say the least. And I, I mean, yeah. new legislation is helping, hopefully helping to change it. I hope so. But if we know anything about, about the business world, somebody's going to figure out a way around legislation anyway. And there's going to yeah. still be a, just a massive influx of garbage leads in the marketplace. So finding a lead vendor that that not only can deliver the, the volume that you guys have delivered for us, Cody, but the quality and then stand behind them. So that when when there is an issue, man, your team has jumped on. And, and it's resonated with our agents. Our agents are telling us this exact thing and we get constant feedback from them. So, you know. We want them to just run the system. They don't have to go reinvent the wheel. Go be them. No. Let our tools let our tools drive appointments for them. Yeah, like put them in front of yep. clients. What What are some things um, that they should agents should be like looking out for, but also be leery of in our industry? If you're like, hey, I've got a lot of experience. Let me help a new agent right now. So I would tell you one thing is is that it's it's commissions are fun, Cody. I, I love commissions. I am a pro commission guy. I love commissions. Commissions are not the end all be all. There are companies out there that, again, I think if you use that benchmark of, would you sell it to your mom? Do you want your mom to buy a life insurance policy from this company that you can't pronounce their name and they've got a PO box in South Florida somewhere? Mm, I would be a little leery. I would be nervous. So uh, number one is you know picking who you're going to ride with. I think that matters. I think the agency that you work with matters. Can you pick up the phone and actually talk to a, to a person that cares about your business and will spend yeah. time with you? That matters. Um, you know, that one, aligning yourself with carriers that, that deliver the right product to the client. Because insurance, our world, Cody, we sell paper and promises. That's it. Mm -hmm. We don't, we sell nothing tangible. Uh, in fact, any, we used to send them a piece of paper in the mail. We don't even do that anymore. They get an email 
And then that's their policy. And so what are you selling? Are you selling them something that is going to deliver when the time comes? Yeah. Right. And, and so I think aligning yourself not only with an agency that's going to help vet and do the right thing, give you the tools to be successful, but aligning yourself with the carriers that matter. And I would say don't chase commission. If there's a crazy high commission somewhere, um, there's a reason why that doesn't happen. I've been on the other side of this. I've been on the carrier side. If commissions go really crazy, there's a reason why. And so I would say, you know, you can make crazy money in this business. You can make a lot of money in this business and you can do it the right way without harming people or others. And, and yeah. you know, having a solid reputation, you know, you're doing a good job when people are coming to you because of who you are. And they know that what, what, what comes out of your mouth is the gospel. That matters, man. It absolutely exactly. matters. I think that's really what's helped grow our agency so much is that, you know, my brother and I have been around a long time in the business and, when they saw that we we left our company, when we left Aflac, people called us. Just you know, we turned off our recruiting mechanism in April, and we've grown by four hundred agents in that window. Really, word of mouth, and uh, you know, it's crazy. We would love to have another eight hundred before the end of the year. I think that would be fantastic. Wow. Uh, and it's been fun. I mean, that's the cool thing. Pe- people don't think insurance is fun, Cody. It's a freaking blast, man. I <laughs> love insurance. Uh, why I love insurance is, is that. I don't get a whole lot of emergency phone calls. It's on, on 9 p.m. on a Sunday about somebody buying an insurance policy, but I get to control my hours and I get to control my revenue. I've worked for the man. I've worked for big corporate. There's nothing like this business. And so when you align with the right people and you do the right things and you have the right technologies in place, man, this is a great career. Uh, yeah. It's a great career. Totally. Also, what, what type of agents are y'all typically um, helping the most? Is it is it is it the newbie? Is it the you know agent that's making good money but wants to take it to the next level? Is it the veteran that's like burnt out or taken advantage of or whatever that needs some help? You know, like we we kind of see a mix, right? We see new agents, we see a lot of new agents, right? Which I, I love new agents because I, I'll take ignorance on fire all day. Like, I love give that. me that all day, that's good all day. We, we can run with that. We see a lot of of agents who have been on the worksite side. Cody and they've they've actually they've, they've been, they're looking for something different. They have service fatigue, if you will, and so they want to do something different. And we see a lot of agents that have like, have kind of looked at the demographics and they see you know the gray wave is here, right? That it's yeah. here. Uh, we're in the middle of it right now. What eleven thousand people a day are hitting retirement? Mm. Twelve thousand a day in six months. Um, and then people are like, oh, as soon as the baby boomer is over, it's over. No, it's not done. Then you get Gen X, my generation, unfortunately. <laughs> It's about 10 million smaller, but then the millennials come along and they're bigger than the baby boomers. There's, this industry has legs. And so wow. when you start establishing yourself um, in this business, I'll tell you, it, it, it becomes it becomes very fun. So we love the newbies and we and we have a lot of, of veterans who are like, man, I'm ready to do something different. We're like, yeah. what's different? Yes. And they don't want to have to go out and vet and try to figure out which AI technology. They don't know how to use chat or whatever the case may be. Like, cool. You come to us. So it's really interesting. Some of our training calls, Cody, we'll have, uh, you know, we'll have boomers on the call with us and millennials on the call with us and an awful lot of Gen uh, Gen Z's on the call with us. So, you know, it's it's really, really diverse um, of what's out there. The business is simple, though. It's talking to people and aligning them with the right product. And when we have a tool that can deliver appointments for you, it makes all the difference. Yes. I think I'm in the, I think, it, it, I think I'm, I'm in the millennial category. I think, you know, 34 years. You're old. rubbing it in now, bro. You're rubbing it yeah, in. I don't know. Uh, well, you start talking about the Gen Z, Gen, I don't even know, Gen X and Gen Y. I don't even oh, know. Oh, yeah. I'm a Gen X. I'm solidly Gen, Gen X. E, I'm like, yeah. you know what? You're, um, you're, you're a millennial. You're definitely a millennial. Yeah. Is there, there's really more millennials than baby boomers? I, I literally yeah. did not know. About, that. about 10 million more than baby boomers. Wow. Yeah. Dang. It's, that's a, it's a bigger generation. It's a bigger huh. generation. So I guess, it's interesting I, guess though, you're, you're, I guess your generation was having a lot of kids, man. I don't know. No, yeah, I guess. I don't know. No, we didn't have millennials. That's not us. No? No. Is it, is it right above that? Yeah, right above that. It's the it's the late boomers. It's the late boomers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, now, now I'm offending you. Dylan's over here laughing. I'm like, I don't know how this thing Yes, works. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hey, look at fifties, fantastic! I just call I'm Dave five point oh. That's all it is. Oh, you're you're right. Yeah, you'd have to have me <laughs> very young. For me. Yeah, um, yeah. This is platinum blonde, not gray, <laughs> Cody. That, that's what it is. That's another reason I love working with you guys, dude. Is is you you mentioned it earlier? 
y'all have a lot of fun. Absolutely. You know, like you really do. Uh, we were talking on a meeting um, right before I was doing a road show in Memphis, like uh, a few weeks ago. And did we just, you just have fun and, and y'all enjoy what you do. I was on, we were on, it was on your training call, you know, I, and I, I did some training and man, dude, that was a blast. Like I freaking loved it. I, I, it's, you know, like coming from corporate, you know, uh, HR, there's not an HR at our, at our, at our firm, right? We're not big enough to have an HR. And so it was fun. Number one, I ditched my corporate picture behind me for all my zoom calls. Ferris Bueller. I date myself again. My favorite movie went up behind me. Um, but dude, this is a fun business. It, it is an absolute blast. Is it? It's yeah. cool to help somebody and sell them a policy. It's super fun to calculate your commission, but it's even more fun when you make enough money that all of a sudden, when you don't have to think about money, you're making enough money. Uh, what that number is is different for everybody, but when you don't have to think about it every day, that's when you're doing it. Mm. And business gives people the vehicle to get there. It absolutely does. Yeah, it does. And we're focused on it. Our agency is absolutely focused on on agent growth and agency growth, right? We want ownership. I want somebody to have the own their book of business mm. and to go crush it, right? I mean, and and we've been blessed that opportunities have come come our way, you know, people have known us over the years. And so opportunities have come our way. Organizations have joined ours. Um, and, and, and it goes back to that, right? Is care about other people. Uh, if you worry about them, your, your stuff will get taken care of. And, and that's what's True. happening for us. True. Um, last question. What, what advice would you sure. give to someone who is, I could talk to you for hours, by the way, I'm having, I'm having fun. <laughs> um, if someone is struggling, they're in a rough spot. Yeah. They don't, they have very little money. They don't know if this is, they, they, they like the career, but they don't know if it, I mean, it's hard to like it when things aren't going well, but, but they're, they're, yeah. they're struggling. They're in a bad spot. Personal stuff's happening. Business is a wreck. What advice would you give to that individual that's watching right now? You know, my, uh, hard things, hard things make us better, right? Like I lift weights a little bit. Boy, I wish they were lighter because it would be way easier if they were light. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't do anything if it's light. It's when it's hard that it matters the most. And so yeah. I would tell somebody, especially in the life business, um, you know, if I, if I focus purely on life life business right now. So if you look at statistics, and I, I'm a numbers nerd, Cody, not as much as my brother Paul, but I'm a numbers nerd. If you look at people, so your generation, right, the the millennials, far less, low 40s have life insurance right now, mm. low 40s. Uh, do they have responsibilities? And if you talk to anybody, and I'm not telling you to not go buy Kaboom leads, you should go buy, invest in yourself and invest in your business and buy leads. Give yourself a chance. You need an at bat. You need at bats, but you can find at bats in lots of places. Yeah. So I would tell I would tell agents I would be focused on presentations. I'd be focused on how many people are you talking to. But if you ask the question, right? So Cody, I don't know how many people you have in studio right now, but if you ask the question, do you have life insurance? And if they're an adult, right? If they're an adult, if the they say no, yes. the answer is yes. Good. If not, I know somebody who can take care of them. But uh, <laughs> but but if you ask anybody, right, the population tells me about half are going to say no. And when they say no, they go, no, but I should, or I used to have it at work, but I should. Every one of those is an opportunity. And and that's what I would do if I, if I was struggling is I've got to find opportunity. You got to turn over rocks. Mm. And there are opportunities everywhere. Um, it comes up at the post office. I, you know, I think having a cheerful, uh, uh, my wife laughs because she's like, you have friends everywhere we go. I'm like, that's cause everybody's my friend until they're not like, I, I take that approach first. They're my buddy first. Yeah. And you have a conversation just say, Hey, let me ask you a question. Just randomly ask, do you have life insurance? Do you have life insurance? If they say no, they're going to follow it with a butt statement. They're right. going to tell you why they don't have life insurance. They, they, they feel they guilty. Like, oh, cool. Let me take care of you. Yes. They feel guilty. Because anybody who's an adult. They probably own a car. They owe some money somewhere and they don't want to leave it to somebody. They don't want, nobody wants to leave their family in front True. of them with debt. And so I would tell a struggling agent, open your mouth, open your mouth mm. and talk to people. Um, invest in, you know, when you have the, the ability to invest, invest in yourself, invest in your business. And that investment is giving you at bats, is getting, getting clients to talk to. And so that's a, that's an investment in Kaboom leads, right? Go and buy some leads. Um, and then I would work the heck out of those leads. Uh, you know, I, I used to laugh with new agents. They like, Oh, how do you deal with, with no's all the time? I'm like, because there's no such thing as no, mm. no means maybe later. That That's just like later. And I I would laugh. I'd like, they'd be like, no, don't bother. I'm like, Oh, it's no bother. I'll follow up with you in two months. Like, 
it's it wasn't a bother. Um, and you, especially when you use a system like what we're using that keeps following up with people over and over and over again. But you've got to give yourself at bats. You've got to give yourself enough, enough at bats. And when you're new, you're not going to hit a home run every third third at bat. You need five at bats to get one. Give yeah. yourself enough at bats, whether it's investing in leads or open your mouth and talk to people. But okay. look at hard things. Hard things make you better in the end. Hard things make you stronger. Hey, man. Um, I think one of the my favorite parts of that whole thing was um, – <laughs> It's so funny because when things aren't going well, we do not see opportunity anywhere. You see opportunity everywhere. And so it truly depends on how you look at it. Yeah, absolutely. It's good, dude. It's amazing. If they want to learn more about what you guys are doing or get help, man, uh, what should they do or where should they go? Yeah, visit visit our web, website, uh, onesolutionagency.com. I'm sure you, we can uh, link that. And, uh, you know, the cool part is, is that, you know, we have 800 plus agents. Uh, our number's on there, though. Drop an email, send a message, you know. Paul or I, one of the, one of the C-suite will pick you up, pick up the phone and call you. We'll spend some time with you. Uh, you know, cool. we like to see people win. It's fun for us. Hey man. Well, dude, appreciate your time. Thanks for all you're doing. And thanks hey, for jumping hey. on from Seattle virtually. Yeah. Wow. Appreciate you, man. Okay. Hey, um, huge shout out to Dave and One Solution Agency. Also, if you guys are like, all right, Dave's promoting Kaboom Leads. I got to check them out. You can go to kaboomleads.com. You can use coupon code YouTube and get 10% off your very first order. Thanks for hanging with us, and we will see you on the next episode. Adios.